youth block road with four corpses in Benue over IBB declaration on the use of military force. You see, they are beds of feathers. So you should not be surprised. IBB, don't forget, is also a one-time military personnel. She understand. It's also a one-time military personnel, and you know how he ruled. It's just that in his own administration, I will target to be 50-50. I will tag his administration to be 50-50. 50-50 in the sense that at least he was able to, you know, uh, give to the people what people ask for and, and, and also take to himself what he actually he actually wants so he was just making it 50 50 but then that military force was also applied in his administration so for ibb to say what he's saying one should not be surprised you understand one should not be surprised. They are better with feathers. In IBB administration, people were treated with force. People were forced to accept what they never, they never wanted. People were forced to accept what they never wanted. IBB took the advantage of being a military leader to take from the people what truly belonged to them. A lot of people were denied of their wants. A lot of people were displaced. They were displaced. Is it not in his administration that moved the capital of Delta away? From where it is to Asaba. Of course, a lot of things, a lot of injustice was uh, was 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 put up in his uh, in his tenure in his administration. So you should not be surprised at the advice that he is giving to to the public. You should not be surprised at the advice. That he is giving to to the president. You understand? You don't expect him to go against Boris action. You don't expect him. They are best of the feathers. You understand? And that that is why uh, is where he is today. You can see the position he is today. Is and even with the position he is today. He is not still shaking. He's not still shaking. And still doesn't want to make a change. That is the problem of this nonsense. That's a problem. You see that? So I am not surprised with all this that is coming out from him. One we say that IBB is the IBB is completely out of place and out of point. The youth are angry. They are demonstrating their anger. They are not happy for the youth in Benue to come out in mass with cops to protest. Oh my God. You know that the situation has gotten out of hand. You know, it has gotten out of hand. You see that? Is it, are we talking about Benue? What about in, 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 in Anambra, where the youths have to carry cops on their head with the inscription? Bari. So many things is happening. And there is need for immediate action. There is need for that. We don't need to keep calm anymore. This is the time.
for us to voice out. All right, look at the, the protest anyway. Um, former military president General Ibrahim Babangida has called on the federal government to equip the military with modern weapons, train them on how to deploy same to decisively resolve insecurity across Nigeria. Speaking on a BBC AUSA program monitored Sunday in Kaduna, General Babangida said the Nigerian military was doing a lot to address the multifarious security challenges such as banditry, kidnapping and insurgency while calling on Nigerians to rally behind them to find lasting solution to the menace. Babangida said he was preferring advice to governments quietly on the insecurity ravaging the country, which has crept into Niger State, believing the issue will soon be resolved once the right thing is done. He said it has become necessary for citizens and governments to synergize and work together. On whether the Nigerian soldiers needed modern weapons, he said yes, they do. They need to be trained or on how to use the modern weapons, not to get weapons and just hand over to them. They should be trained. It is important to rally around the soldiers and other security agents, support them and let them know the citizens are behind them. Provide them with all they require and let them know this is their country. They have no other country better than this. This problem of insecurity, every government had its experience, but if we unite, we will overcome it. I remember how we fought the civil war for three years. The people supported the government. The government did its best. Both what was necessary, those who fought were made to understand that this country is the best for them. It's not only in Nigeria. Many countries encounter this kind of problem. Some had it for 10 years, but through concerted effort, they are out of it. Believe we can get out of this problem. We should unite. We should support those in power. We are all working towards achieving the same goal. Between the leaders and citizens, we need peace and a harmonious relationship. Both citizens and those governing are trying, but we should know that it is not an easy task. Speaking on whether Nigerian politicians were playing the desired role in bringing an end to insecurity, IBB said, there are many things they have to put right if they agree to sit down and think over. I believe success will be achieved. <laughs> you are right, sir, but it's not in a country like Nigeria again. If you look at what happened during the war and what is presently happening now, you will see reason why the people are agitating for a division. Let me hear from you, my dear viewers out there. Okay, so please, if you're new on this channel, don't forget to come in and leave your comments below the comment section. Okay, but if you're not new, deem it free to click on the, um, to leave your comments on the comment section. Okay, so that you can be contacted or updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.